Hello everybody, my name is Rahul and in this video we'll be looking at a try hack me room called Mr. Fisher. So it says that I received a suspicious email with a very weird looking attachment. It keeps on asking me to enable macros, what are those? So this straight away gives us a hint that we are going to deal with macros. So macros is a type of scripting language that you know you can embed in a Excel or a Word file so that it can you can try to automate things to an extent. So nothing challenging, it just says that files you need are located in the home Ubuntu Mr. Fishes on v VM and I have the VM r open up right here. So this is the document that we get. So if I straight away open it up, nothing is nothing specific is going to happen. You see that it says that this document contain macros and macros may contain viruses. So generally what used to happen was these malicious hackers, what they used to do is they used to put reverse shells and whatnot malicious code into macros so all you had to do was enable content but since this is um, libre you won't be getting a small pop-up right here that you know you need to enable macros so i'll be showing you two methods on how you can solve it so the first is just going to the tools going to macros and edit macros i'm not going to say run macros but just edit macros now the file that we're dealing with is called mishafishers.docm We'll be clicking on this, clicking on just clicking on them till we find something and there we go. So this is what we get. So this is written in VBA and I'll try to explain this to you. So this I think Vim, dim is how you declare a variable. A I would say is an array and dim B as string would say that okay B is a string. So B is of string type unbound or oh sorry u bound is used to find out the length of any specific thing that it is passed through so in this case it is passed an array so what is going to happen here is it is going to return the length of the array so this is a typical for loop the for loop says that okay run this from i is equal to zero up till the length of an array and what you need to do is you need to xor the ith index of this array with i and whatever the answer is you need to store it in b so either you can print b right over here to print out the flag but we're not going to do it just for learning purposes instead what i'm going to do is i'm using going to use a tool called oledebug sorry oledump.py so this is a fantastic tool and this is i think the only tool that i know which can help you deal with macros if you know anyone to do mention it in the comment section so the way you use it is called you just call it out and what you need to do is you need to just pass in the name of the file i have downloaded the file onto my local machine and as you can see this is this is what you get as an output i've passed in nothing special and as you can see it shows that a3 has something called m and a4 has something called m so these represent macros so whatever this is it is either in a3 or either in a4 so what you're going to do is we need to select our stream we need to select the stream by s and let's just begin with a3 and just type in v v i think is for verbose and this is the exact same thing that we get right here so this is the exact same function that was declared so what need to do what i need to do is i need to copy it out i'll just copy it and type in nano solution dot pi and bin python followed by this and what i'll do is i'll just oh i'm sorry about that i'll have to go right back but i'll just make a list out of it and we'll just run the same function or what we'll run the same logic all over again but this time what we'll be doing is we'll be printing it out as well so the way we do it is called is by let's just name it as a this is the same thing and let's call a character s is equal to this and for i in range 0 up till the length of a and s equals to s plus character so what this character essentially does is it will find out the um, equivalent of that um, number let me just show it to you right here so a I just keep forgetting things sometimes so this is how we do it and let's for the sake of it let's just print it out so this is there's nothing special that i did here 
this is the exact same thing that I've done here. The only thing is that I'm printing it out as well. So what I'll be doing here is Python three sol.py and there we go. This is a pretty flag. So thank you guys. I hope you learned something out of this. Do make sure to hit the subscribe button and do tell me if you would like to make if you would like me to make a video on any such topic. Thank you.